welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar and this is the first course on samasa we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana <coughs> vishvesham satchidanandam वंदेहम योखिल जगत चरीकर्ति बरीभर्ति संजरीहर्ति लीलया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम योखिल जगत चरीकर्ति बरीभर्ति संजरीहर्ति लीलया वी हैव बीन स्टडिंग तत्पुरुष समास in this particular course tatpurusha samasa is one of the four types of samasas in sanskrit the other samasas are avyayi bhava bahuvrihi and dvandva panini has stated avyayi bhava tatpurusha bahuvrihi and dvandva this order we said that tatpurusha samasa is one of the biggest compounds available in sanskrit most productive the other feature of tatpurusha samasa is that it has got various subtypes no other compound has got so many sub varieties of tatpurusha compounds and so many of them are extremely productive in nature we also said that panini has composed several sutras to explain various features of tatpurusha samasa right from the compound prescribing sutras on words etc the samasa vidhayaka sutras the samasanta pratyaya vidhayaka sutras the samasa swara vidhayaka sutras and so on and so forth panini has composed numerous sutras in comparison with other samasas this is another important feature of tatpurusha samasa the formation of the tatpurusha samasa can be explained in brief in a simple equation of this kind where we have x and y two independent entities in terms of their meaning as well as their word formation as well as the accent however they are interrelated and the speaker of sanskrit decides to merge them together and make one unit in all the three terms namely in terms of meaning swara in terms of the word and also in terms of the action so this xy which is a generated unit after the compound processing has taken place is of a peculiar kind it conveys one meaning it is one word unit and it also has got one accent this acts as one unit in the output form in the form of a sentence and the most important feature of the tatpurusha compound is that it is why which is the second member of the compound or also the uttara pada it acts as the head of the unit so that's why y is shown with the bold character what it means is that when xy as a unit is to be associated semantically with any other external unit in the sentence y will be the one which will get connected and x will not be allowed to independently get related to any other meaning which is external that is the implication now when such a thing happens 
theoretically the samasa would be called a samartha samasa and we have studied this aspect earlier in the course we studied the vibhakti tatpurusha primarily and different vibhaktis were stated in that section and the compound was also stated therein dvitiya tritiya chaturthi panchami and saptami in this order and finally shashti the vibhakti tatpurusha highlighted the fact that the samasa is based on the karaka theory then we move to karma dharaya another extremely important sub type of the tatpurusha compound this is stated in the section 2149 up to 2172 the adhikara in this particular section is samana adhikarane na when two words are correlated in terms of coreferentiality so the karma dharaya samasa is defined in paninian grammar as tatpurushah samanadhikaranah karmadharayah that tatpurusha samasa in which the constituents denote one and the same entity as referent is termed karma dharaya repeat that tatpurusha in which the constituents denote one and the same entity as referent is termed karma dharaya the term samanadhikarana is explained in a very nice manner in the tradition in the following line the state of being samanadhikarana is samanadhikaranya this is defined as bhinna pravritti nimittasya anekasya shabdasya ekasmin arthe vrittihi samanadhikaranyam the multiple words which have different causes of their usage when they stand for one and the same referent that is called samanadhi karanya those words are said to be related to each other in the samanadhi karanya or the coreferentiality now after having studied the initial sutras in this particular section let us proceed further and study some more sutras in this particular section stating the karma dharaya compound now the next sutra 2153 is kutsitani kutsa nahi there are two words in the sutra kutsitani this is one three kutsita is one who is censured and this is one three so the word which is kutsita or which is censured will be termed upasarjana by the sutra prathama nirdishtam samasa upasarjanam and then the sutra upasarjanam purvam will ensure that the kutsita word occupies the initial position of the compound what is known as purva nipata now kutsa nahi is the instrumental plural 3 3 and it means with the words of censure the words continued are sup and sahasupa and of course samartha padavidhi the word samanadhikarane na is also continued which means with the same referent now samanadhikarane na and kutsa nahi because they have the same vibhakti they will be put together when we make the meaning of the entire sutra based on this much information so the meaning of the sutra overall is that any subanta which denotes one who is censured is compounded with any other interrelated coreferent subanta which is a word of censure i repeat any subanta which denotes one who is censured is compounded with any other interrelated coreferent subanta which is a word of censure 
So now the meaning is a grammarian who points towards the sky. This is the literal meaning. And the idea is that of a censure. How? When asked a question, a grammarian who instead of answering it with concrete answer by citing the grammatical rules and the grammatical procedure and so on and so forth, points towards the sky, indicating thereby that the grammarian does not know the concrete answer. And this is precisely what is the intention of the censure. And so this grammarian is censured. The tradition has used the word nishpratibhaha ityarthaha. So this grammarian is nishpratibha. There is no pratibha. He does not apply himself and does not use his imaginative power nor his memory which reminds him of particular and specific sutras which apply in certain particular places. So, this meaning is conveyed by the following words Vayakaranaha Khasuchihi Kh means sky and Suchihi is one who points. So, Vayakaranaha Khasuchihi Vayakarana is grammarian. Now, both these words are co-referential, they refer to one and the same person and so there is the semantic relatedness and so now these two words will be compounded. Amongst them Vayakarana is the one who is censured, so he is Kutsita and Kasuchi is a word which is an expression of the censure and so now the conditions for the Sutra Kutsitani Kutsanaihi are fulfilled and so these two words will be compounded. So we'll have Vayakarana plus Su plus Khasuchi plus Su. This is the Alaukika Vigraha. Now the Samasa process begins. This is termed as Samasa. And so this will also be termed as Pratipadika. And now both the Su Pratyayas which are part of the Pratipadika they will be deleted by the Sutra Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho. So now we have Vayakarana plus zero plus Khasuchi plus zero. And then we join these two words together and we get the finally derived compound output in the form of Vayakarana Khasuchi. Vayakarana Khasuchi. Similarly, we will also have the meaning namely a cunning priest. What it means is a yajya yajana trishna paraha who is devoted to thirst of making people do the sacrifice where they shouldn't. So one who makes people do unnecessary sacrifice and then earns some money from them. This is a part of the censure. And so in this sense, we will get the compound Yadnika Kitava, the cunning priest, Yadnika Kitava. This is the censure. Yadnika is the Kutsita, one who is censured. Kitava is the term which expresses the censure. And that is why these two words get compounded. And since Kutsitani is mentioned in Prathama, so Yadnika, who is a Kutsita, will occupy the first position in the compound final output of the compound. Similarly, when we have the meaning unbelieving hermenetician. So the primary feature of the Mimamsaka is the belief, strong belief in the authoritativeness of the Vedas. So Astinasti Dishtam Matihi is a sutra which tells us that one who thinks that the Vedas are authoritative is Astika and one who does not believe in the authoritativeness of the Veda is a Nastika. So a Mimamsaka generally thrives or generally accepts the authority of the Veda but this is a Mimamsaka, very strange, who does not accept the authoritativeness of the Veda and that is the censure of this Mimamsaka. And so Mimamsaka is Kutsita and Durdurudha 
is the Kutsana term and so now Kutsita occupies the initial position of the compound and so we get the form Mimam Saka Durudurudha one who does not believe in the authority of the Vedas Nastika Ityarthaha Kutsitani Kutsanaihi Let us proceed further. So we have 2.154 Paparnake Kutsitaihi. In this sutra there are two padas, Paparnake and Kutsitaihi. Paparnake is 1 slash 2 Prathamadvivachana with the words Papa and Anaka. Now this word is mentioned in Prathama. So the sutra Prathama Nirdishtam Samasa Upasarjanam will term it as Upasarjana and then Upasarjanam Purvam will ensure that Papa and Anaka, these two words, they occupy the initial position of the compound by the Sutra Upasarjanam Purvam. Kutsitaihi is the instrumental plural of Kutsita, those who are censured. In the previous sutra, Kutsita was mentioned in Prathama, so the Kutsitas occupied the initial position in the compound and the Kutsana occupied the second position or the Uttarapada in the compound. Now in the case of the words Papa and Anaka, which are the terms of censure, they are mentioned in the Prathama Vibhakti, so they occupy the initial position of the compound and the word Kutsita those who are censured, this is mentioned in Tritiya and not in Prathama. So, the words who are Kutsita, they will occupy the Uttarapada or the second position in the Tatpurusha compound. The words continued are Sup and Sahasupa. The words Samartha Padavidhi also continues. Also is Samanadhi Karana continued, which means with the same referent. Now the meaning of this particular sutra is the Subantas with Papa and Anaka as the Pratipadikas are compounded with any other interrelated co-referent Subanta which denotes who is censured. I repeat, the Subantas with Papa and Anaka as the Pratipadikas are compounded with any other interrelated co-referent Subantha, which denotes who is censured. So now the meaning to be conveyed is wicked potter and so we have Papaha Kulalaha as the Laukika Vigraha and then we have Papa plus Su plus Kulala plus Su as the Alaukika Vigraha and then the term Samasa applies over here and so the term Pratipadika applies over here and then we see that both the Sus, they are part of the Pratipadika. So Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho applies and deletes both the Supratyayas. So now we have Papa plus zero plus Kulala plus zero. And then we join the words together and we get Papa Kulala as the finally derived compound output, which expresses the same meaning as Papaha Kulalaha. Papaha is the term for censure and Kulala is the one who is censured. So Kulala is Kutsita and so it occupies the second position in the compound. Similarly, we have the meaning insignificant potter and so we get Anakaha Kulalaha and both these words are related in the relation of co-referentiality because both of them are referring to the same person and so the compound is prescribed and we'll have Anaka plus Su plus Kulala plus Su as the Alaukika Vigraha and the Samasa Saudhnya applies and so also the Pratipadika Saudhnya applies and then we notice that there are two Su Pratyayas in this particular Pratipadika and they get deleted by Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho and so now you have Anaka plus zero plus Kulala plus zero and then we join them together and we get the form 
anaka kulala as the finally derived compound form which mean the same thing as anaka kulala an insignificant potter now we go to the next sutra upamanani samanya vachanai 2155 this sutra has got two words upamanani and samanya vachanai upamanani is prathama bahuvachana where words denoting the standard of comparison are stated because this is in prathama so by the sutra prathama nirdishtam samasa upasarjanam the upamana words will be termed upasarjana and then upasarjanam purvam will ensure that these terms occupy the initial position of the compound and samanya vachana is the word in the instrumental plural samanya vachana is the common property which is stated in the presence of upamana so upamana and samanya vachana are stated here and there is another technique technical terminology involving the words like upameya and the sadrashya vachaka shabd and these will come in the coming sutras now the words continued are sup and sahasupa and the samartha padavidhi is also obviously there samanadhikaranena also continues which means with the same referent now the meaning is the subantas which are the standard of comparison are compounded with any other interrelated co-referent subanta which denotes the common property between the upamana and also the upameya i repeat the subantas which are the standard of comparison are compounded with any other interrelated co-referent subanta which denotes the common property so now we have these meanings to be conveyed first someone who has a dark complexion like a knife this is a description of a lady and the standard of comparison is knife and the common property between the two is shyamatva being dark so we have shastri eva shyama so shastri and eva and shama three words are used shastri is the upamana eva is the upama vachaka shabd shama is the sadrashya vachaka shabd and of course upameya is not mentioned now in this case this sutra is saying that shastri is compounded with shama so we have shastri plus su plus shyama plus su and they both are related as co-referentials so there is samarthatva and so there is compound so now we get the samasa saudnya then we get the pratipadika saudnya then supo dhatu pratipadika yo applies and deletes both the sups so we have shastri plus zero plus shyama plus zero and then we have shastri shyama as the finally derived compound output similarly we have someone who has white complexion like white lotus kumudam eva sheni so kumudam is the upamana eva is the upama vachaka shabd sheni is the samanya dharma samanya shabd and upameya is obviously not explicitly mentioned so now we have kumud plus su plus sheni plus su as the alaukika vigraha and here samasa saudnya applies and so the pratipadika saudnya applies after which the sutra supadhatu pratipadika yo applies so we have kumud plus 0 plus sheni plus 0 and then we join them together and we get kumud sheni as the finally derived compound output these are the examples of upamanani samanya vachanai 
Now the next sutra in this section is Upamitam Vyagradivihi Samanya Prayoge 2.156 There are three padas in the sutra Upamitam Vyagradivihi and Samanya Prayoge So Upamitam is in the Prathama Vibhakti something that is measured and this is in the Prathama Vibhakti so by the sutra Prathama Nirdishtam Samasa Upasarjanam this will get the Upasarjana term and then by the Sutra Upasarjanam Purvam this will occupy the initial position of the compound. Vyagradivihi is in the instrumental case which means with a group of words beginning with Vyagra obviously this is the Upamana and the other strange condition over here is Samanya Prayoge when the common property is not intended to be mentioned. So in such a case, in this environment, the Karmadharaya Samasa takes place. So the words continued are Sup, Sahasupa, Samartha Padavidhi and of course Samanadhi Karanena with the same referent. So the meaning of the Sutra is the following. The Subantas which are intended to be measured are compounded with any other interrelated co-referent subanta whose pratipadikas are from a group of words that begins with Vyagra when the common property is not intended to be mentioned. I repeat, the subantas which are intended to be measured for are compounded I repeat, the subantas which are intended to be measured are compounded with any other interrelated co-referent subanta whose pratipadikas are from a group of words that begins with Vyagra when the common property is not intended to be mentioned. So here we have the meaning the man is like a tiger. Now there is no Ksamanya Vachana, Shuraha and so on that is not there. Purusha is the Upameya or the Upamita as mentioned in the Sutra. Vyagra is the Upamana and Iva is the Upamavachaka Shapta. Now Purusha and Vyagra they are related because they are co-referential and so now they will be compounded. Purusha plus Su plus Vyagra plus Su. This is the Alaukika Vigraha. So Samasa Saudhnya applies and so the Pratipadika Saudhnya applies and so Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoha applies and the deletion of both the Su's up happens and finally we get the compound output in the form of Purusha Vyagra which expresses the same meaning as Purushaha Vyagraha Iva. We also have following words derived in the same procedure by the same Sutra. When you have the meaning man is like a lion and you don't mention the samanya dharma common property and you have the word derived as purusha simha as a compound. Similarly purusha rishabha man is like a bull and face is like a lotus and you have mukha padma as the finally derived compound output. The tradition has noted that this is an open ended group of words. So there are several words that are added and this is also very productive. To summarize, the Karmadharaya compound is stated between two co-referents. The standard of comparison or Upamana and what is measured Upameya are also having co-referentiality. In fact, they are also treated as qualified qualifiers. In order that particular words should occupy initial position in the compound, these rules are stated with these specific conditions. That is the purpose. The general rule related to qualified qualifiers will be stated next. These are the texts referred to and thank you very much.